right. We are going to go back to uh, our team maven here. Sure, you can give her a hand. Give her a hand. Um, we want to do a little DIY. So we talked about the tea. Do you want to talk more about the tea? Well, David's tea. Because it tea, smells that good. Honestly, it really is amazing. I'll let you have another little sniff there. And you can see even in some of them, like oh. this one right here. These are all the chocolate lover tea. Oh, you're right in time for tea. Oh, We're going to talk about that, that in a minute. I thought um, we had to evacuate the building. No. <laughs> There's little chocolate chips inside as well that will melt into your diffused oh, that's tea. Why it smells so it good. It really is amazing. And we know that chocolate's an antioxidant. It's great for you. And I'm a green tea lover. Yeah. So there's a green chocolate tea, a super chocolate that has green tea mixed in as well. Very which nice. Which is really great. I'm going to steep you up uh, some of that in a, in a minute. So if okay. mom has a, a sweet tooth, great idea. Yes. Um, if, if she's also a tea lover, I'm, I'm a big fan of these. Dr. David's Joey tea is always saying that. So instead of eating a chocolate bar, have try a and have something a, infused yeah, with the chocolate. chocolate flavored tea. That's exactly it. It can nip Smart. it in the bud. Um, these little goodies are great as well. The little uh, teapots that actually have the diffuser built in. So great. I, I prefer a couple cups of tea when I have right. one. I like to sit with a book, sit and uh, watch City Line, of maybe course. with my pot of tea. Yeah. And then this I really thought was great. For $10 at Ikea, they've got this very sweet little kit. So you've got the diffuser. Mm -hmm. And once you've steeped your tea, you just turn it around and that can sit on the table. But how cute is this little guy? A lemon press. It comes with oh, it for the kit. Smart. So you can just squeeze it and you can see my lemon juice dripping right into the that cup. That is awesome. Isn't that sweet? I would use that for my water too. Exactly. So That's nice smart. little collection there for yeah. mom. Now this is my new favorite thing. Okay, this so is from Cuisinart. It's the steeper? perfect temp steeper. So the idea is it works as a kettle and your tea steeper. So I've actually already steeped the water for my green tea. Now did you know uh -huh. that certain tea should be steeped at certain temperatures? I did know but I always put it on the same setting for okay, everything. Okay well this you will help do. you with that because there's a six or seven so six different settings on the bottom here. So yeah. delicate teas are at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Black teas are at boiling, 212. Now I like green. Green should be at 175. Have you ever had green tea and it's really bitter yes. or sour? It's because we're boiling it too hot. Oh. So I've already boiled it for the green. Okay. And now with this little gadget, if you can see inside, I'm going to drop the diffuser into the water. Yeah. And slowly, actually, once I hit start time, the, you can see already the tea starting to steep out. It'll make you the perfect cup of green tea. Every single time? Every single time. Oh, that's really cool. Every time. So of course for a tea party, we've got our tea, but we need to serve our goodies. Yes. So I came up with this really simple DIY that you can do even in the next couple days to get ready for Mother's Day to take over as even a gift for your mom. Oh nice. Now I've inherited a lot of china. A lot of are mismatched, which I actually really like, but I also right. picked up some really inexpensive pieces. This one I really love from Value that's Village beautiful. for $6. I even kept the price tag Ooh, on there. Nice. Really inexpensive. So I wanted to create a little tea tray for oh, all of the goodies. That. Now, if you look, it looks delicate. It's all stuck together. Yeah. I've actually adhesived everything together. So it's a with great little heirloom really piece strong. with something really strong. So this is a construction adhesive, really easy to work with. So I found this coffee canister and essentially all you want to do is put a liberal amount right around the bottom. Okay. And then you would place it where you want it on your plate. And then leave it with some pressure. So once you stack up all of your pieces, you just want to leave it with a little bit and of pressure on top, a couple books on top, 24 hours. And then you can dress it up with some goodies for mom, okay. some mints, put it in cello wrap and take that and it's a tea party to go. Do you want house. to do this one at a time? Like one at a keep time. this there for a nope. little while? No, nope. I did them all at one time and okay. just let it dry for 24 hours. Very nice. Easy, I easy, like simple that. DIY.